What's up Hustlers, it's your boy JT Hustles back in with another video. In this video, I don't just want to give you guys my perspective. I want to also share the perspective of others that are in the transportation industry. This is will indeed be a culture shock, no doubt. We're going to talk straight here. We're not going to sugarcoat it. Um, does it go on in the industry? Yes, I think it goes on in every industry. I'm going to premiere this video, so if you want to comment during the premiere on how you feel about anything that's going on, I will be active in the chat. If you see this video after it's already published, comment below, and I will get back in touch with you as soon as possible. You're going to come across a lot of racism. So, you as a black man, the standards are already set. Like right here, you got to be up here. That every single race that comes out here into this industry is going to be a victim of racism one way or the other. Not all people. Some people think that you are incompetent. Whether you notice it or not, you are going to be a victim of racism. No matter what color you are. That's not the case in all situations. You're going to be a victim of it. I've been trucking since 2001. And there have been occasions where I had to be way up here where other people were right to here, and they're, you know, looking at me, waiting for me to jack something up. Like I say, you could be white, black, Hispanic, you could be uh, Middle Eastern, you could be Asian, you could be just anything, you know, Canadian, I mean, Jews. Yeah, it's just how it is. We're just talking straight. <laughs> um, I had to laugh because of something. Taking the load to uh, South Carolina. That's where you're going to find it the most. These cats are brutal, boy. You I've heard of companies that are racist. You could just see it. that These guys, they want to say something so bad. I've heard about it, but then I go, you know what? I've seen that. The communication off. You turn on your CB radio, you're going to hear, hear racial slurs all the time. So now, I mean, now I just got to the point where, okay, look, I'm going to do this. And if you don't like it, what would OG Ricky tell you? Does racial slurs make one racist? I don't believe so. You just got to raise your standard, that's all. You know, I mean, it is, it's is—it's just the cars I've been dealt. But if you're going to make a racial joke, uh, I don't think that's racist at all. I think you're going to find a lot of that out here. And he said, I'm pulling you over for your seatbelt. You know, he called me Mighty Whitey and I called him a beaner. And um, stuff of that nature. But... We sit there and bought each other lunches and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? We were really good friends where we could do that towards each other. And that's just how things were. I'm sure a lot of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. And we are brothers. We are sisters out here. No matter whether you like it or not, we are. Maybe you may not like that guy that may not look like you. We are brothers and sisters out here. Do you smoke marijuana? At least us truck drivers, we could kind of unite on this. When I communicate with brokers. You know, because your skin color, you're going to get put back in the line. You'll see it. You'll notice it. Guys, just calm down and just let it be. No. No, 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 sir. I, I, I... So just be prepared. Have thick skin. So at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to step outside of my body to see what he sees. And I'm like, okay, he sees the tattoos. He sees the goals. He sees, you know, maybe th this is some profile in here. Yeah, we give each other a hard time, but there is a, still a bond of truck drivers. Wow. No matter what color, what, what nationality he is, you know, we'll, we're out here together. At this point, I'm saying this dude is stir crazy, man. So, experienced drivers, do y'all agree? Do y'all agree? Rookies, I mean, you know, don't don't get upset over if when, when you see it, you will see it. If you haven't seen it yet, you will see it. But at this point in time, this dude is this dude has has clearly let me know he is he is certified. I said, what is that? Rise above hate. Was that John Cena says that? That's kind of corny. I don't like John Cena, but dang him. The DLT cop is racist. Most of these drivers out here are. Shut the fuck! Shut! Did I say no? I, oh shit! Say it again! Say something else! Oh! Say something else! 
Say something else, nigga. There's no racism whatsoever. Somebody came to me and told me that uh, the Emancipation Proclamation was a bad idea.